If you've ever suffered from tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, or what we should probably call pickleball elbow, when playing pickleball, this video is for you. I'm gonna give you four causes of elbow pain and give you some solutions that you can try out at the end of the video. If it's your first time visiting our channel, hello, my name is Tony. I'm a master teaching professional as well as a senior pro pickleball player. Welcome to Into Pickle. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get more content just like this. Before we dive into the causes and potential solutions, this is not medical advice. I'm not a trained physician and I'm not providing you medical advice. What I'm giving you, sharing with you are general causes for pain in the elbow that arise from people who play tennis, pickleball, as well as golf. I'm gonna share with you four reasons why you might be feeling that pain in your elbow when you're playing pickleball. Number one, we have grip size. The size of the grip of your paddle is super important. If you have a grip that's too small, it forces your hand then to be too contracted like this. Think of it like holding a pencil. So if you were gonna grip a pencil sized object in your hand and play pickleball, that'd be really difficult to do. Likewise, if you have a grip that's too big, and here you can think about holding like a water bottle, big water bottle like this and trying to play pickleball, that's gonna put a lot of tension in your arm. What you wanna do is you find, wanna find a grip that has roughly about your pinky's width between your finger and, your, and the palm of your hand, something like this. That's a nice natural position for your hand and will avoid the potential elbow issues that come from having a grip that's the wrong size. The second reason why you might be feeling pain in your elbow is from your grip pressure. I'm not talking about the grip pressure in a specific shot. I'm talking about the grip pressure you're holding the paddle in during your entire session. If you're like most players, you're out there playing two, three, or four hours, and what happens is if you're holding the paddle really tight, you can probably see it there, how, it's, how it just flexes there. If you're holding that paddle in a death grip for a couple hours, what you're doing is you're wearing down all this area here. And these muscles and these tendons are relatively small when you compare them to the other muscles in your body. So trying to keep a paddle like this for two, three hours is gonna be really difficult for these muscles and will cause fatigue and wear in these, in these joints and tendons. What you wanna do is, in addition to trying to play with a lighter grip pressure, usually if you wanna take the, your paddle and hold it, death grip is a 10, half of that is a five, you can even go half that, that's two and a half to three, that's a perfectly good grip pressure to play the entire game in. But another tip, tip that you can use, another trick that you can use, is between rallies, let go of the paddle. So the rally's finished, somebody's getting the ball, or you're gonna get the ball, release your hand from the paddle, let these muscles relax before you grab the paddle to play the next rally. A third reason why you might be feeling pain in your elbow is paddle weight. Just as with grip pressure, you're gonna be out there for two or three hours swinging this paddle around. If you have a paddle that is too heavy for you, and by heavy, I don't mean gross weight. Gross weight means the amount that the paddle weighs on a scale. I'm talking about the paddle's swing weight. That means the amount of, the, of weight the paddle has as you swing it through the air. And if you wanna know more about that, I'll link to a video up here we did on swing weight. But the swing weight of the paddle influences how much wear and tear it puts on your, on your arm and also on your wrist and your hand. If you have a paddle that feel, that's too heavy for you, that can cause pain in your arm and in your hand and in your elbow. What you wanna to do to test the weight of your paddle, there's, there's currently no, no paddle manufacturers that show swing weight of a paddle. What you can do is you can take your paddle and you hold it in your dominant hand and you swing it in the air like this, nice and relaxed, relaxed arm, see what it feels like. Then you take another paddle, a friend of yours paddle or another paddle in your bag, put it in the same hand right away and just swing it nice and relaxed. What you're gonna feel is you're likely gonna feel a difference between those two paddles. The paddle that feels like you're dragging it through heavy air or through water is a heavier paddle. It has heavier swing weight as you swing it through the air. Whereas the paddle that moves more easily through the air has a lower swing weight. One of the reasons I play with this paddle is because I'm able to move it around pretty easily from side to side, meaning it has a lower swing weight and therefore is less likely to cause me pain while I play pickleball. If you wanna learn more about the paddle that I play with or the paddle that my partner CJ Johnson plays with, both of which have a good swing weight and aren't gonna cause you elbow pain, I'll put a link in the description below to a blog describing each of the paddles and you can check them out. A fourth reason why you might be feeling pain in your elbow from playing pickleball has to do with improper stroke mechanics. One example would be using too much wrist. If you use your wrist, if you flex your wrist to move the paddle around, what you're doing is you're really wearing these muscles out. You can try it at home to get your paddle and flick that wrist around and you can feel those muscles working you know, repeatedly as you do that. Instead of using your wrist to move the paddle or even your elbow, what you wanna to do to move the paddle is use your shoulder primarily as the paddle driver, as the primary driver of the paddle. The more you use your shoulder, the less you use your wrist, the less you'll be using these muscles as you play pickleball. 
If you need help with stroke mechanics, you can check us out inside the pickleball system and join us in our next class. We have an entire module on mechanical pillar, which is a stroke mechanics, so you can help avoid some of those problems with your stroke mechanics. Let's talk about some solutions. How can you solve the elbow pain you're feeling when you play pickleball? As I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not a doctor, so this is not medical advice. Before you implement any of these solutions, check with your healthcare provider, make sure that they agree with these solutions before you try them. The first and perhaps obvious thing that you wanna do is remove the cause of the elbow pain. If your stroke mechanics are deficient and you're using too much wrist, get rid of the wrist movement. If your paddle's too heavy, deal with that. If your paddle grip size is wrong, deal with that. If you're holding a death grip for two or three hours, then deal with that. Those should help alleviate the pain. In addition to removing the causes of your elbow pain, another thing you can do to, to work on this area is to strengthen the muscles in this part of your body. As you can see, as you probably already noticed, I picked up my water bottle just to show you some ideas. One idea is to hold a water bottle, a can, it can be anything that you can grip onto and hold. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically let it drop like this and then you're gonna lift it up like this. That works this part of the, of the forearm. Another thing you can do is flipping it over, you work it like this, that works a different muscle on your forearm. You can also do really calm turns like this back and forth. Those are three exercises that you can do in the comfort of your home with a can of tomatoes, a can of corn, and just get some work in on your arm. Again, check with your healthcare provider if you have any doubts as to whether you should do that. But generally speaking, the stronger your muscles in this area, the less likely that you're gonna have elbow pain. If you're like most pickleball players, then you have pickleball questions. Let us know in the comments about your pickleball questions and we'll answer them in a future video. If this video is helpful to you, subscribe to the channel so you get notified of future videos. And if you know another player out there suffering from elbow pain, share this video with them. Be well out there.